Hello there guys. So I decided to do a spontaneous vlog today. It is Saturday and I have a customer who is about to come over and get um, this very large piece signed. And that happens sometimes, not super often. Usually my customers aren't necessarily local, but I am excited for a couple reasons. Um, reason number one, it was an excuse to like totally scrub down my art table and it is looking super fresh. Let me just show it to you. I mean, as art tables go, like I, I don't think that my art table has been this clean since it was used as the dining room table um, in Brooklyn. And um, I'm also excited because I've never seen this piece before. Um, so that is the first thing that I'm doing today. It is always fun to have people and customers in my home. I think that living here, I kind of forget that I have all of this stuff everywhere. Um, I've got like fun little cactus guys up on the wall and um, a bunch of art in progress and botanical drawings and living botanicals and it's always fun for people to just have a poke around and see what's going on. I also ended up taking them back to studio number two so they could get a glimpse at my working space and they actually ended up really liking one of the works on the wall in there and so they decided to take that too. I'm going ahead and I'm signing this massive print, which is called Blocks, um, with graphite. That's always how I sign the prints. And then for blush, I am signing it in acrylic because blush is um, oil on canvas, and so I wanted to use something that was paint and not graphite. And here it is in its new beautiful home, making friends with penguins and seals, and I couldn't imagine a better place for it. I knew these would come in handy someday. Just didn't realize they would be as print weights. So that went well. Um, they were super, super cute. Um, I really loved them. I feel like human interaction um, these days is more special. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I just spend so much time seeing like the people in my inner circle, but not really interacting that much with people beyond. And so when you do kind of get these like spontaneous interactions with strangers, although they're not strangers anymore, and they've supported my art a lot. So um, thank, thanking them, it just makes me happy um, to be able to, um, interact with people um, in the world and also it makes me really happy to bring them into my home and um, to show them and kind of like see their delight and their reactions at all of the different um, stuff that I have, all the different art that I have around. Um, and that is one of the perks of actually starting to put my art up. And it took a really long time for me to do that, weirdly. I was kind of like, oh, I don't want my home to be filled with my own art. Um, but now that I have started to fill it with my own art, um, it's, it's really, I think it was a good idea. Okay. 
I need another snack. Um, so I love black licorice. And I know that this is controversial. And it is even more controversial now because I just read an article um, that somebody died from eating too much black licorice. So I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, granted, he was eating a lot, um, but this is definitely my favorite if you're a licorice lover, which you probably aren't. Um, and also, while you're at it, these are um, some of my favorite nails. I, I do love painting my nails and I like having them done, especially when I'm about to do a bunch of painting. Um, and yeah, I just, this is kind of like a spiffy little space age slash 60s thing going on. So now it is 4 p.m. And I am waiting for my boyfriend to get back from his final half sleeve tattoo session. And um, then I think that we are going to be watercoloring together, which I have mentioned before, but it's kind of like one of our weekend things that we do and we have some fun with it. So if we do that, then I will vlog it. One of the things that I have been liking about these painting sessions is it gets me out of my little, I think I know how to paint things zone. Along with Russell being a beginner, I kind of am trying to allow myself to like become a beginner again. And so often he'll pick a picture um, that he uses to paint off of. And sometimes I'll use the same one. Um, and this time I picked my own picture and it is the one, the only, Lisa Frank. I mean, <laughs> I was telling Russell like that I had this exact fish, um, kissy fish as a trapper keeper when I was in middle school. And let me tell you, that was just like the coolest thing ever. I also have a sticker album that's just absolutely stuffed with Lisa Frank stuff. So I'll, s I'll find that on another vlog. We decided to bust out the glitter because why not? Because Russell's fish ended up to be kind of electric, I think. These like cool graphic electric fish. I actually really like them. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a struggle to not let myself get all perfectionistic about this Lisa Frank painting and just relax into some good old fashioned copying of some fabulous art. And um, I haven't mastered my perfectionism yet and I probably never will, but it's a practice. It is all a practice. So I hope that you have enjoyed this little colorful glimpse into a day in the life. And I will talk to you again soon. TTFN.